What's up, crew? Great. The, the Rams historically have had success rush, rushing the passer. What, what do they do? Well, they're extremely talented up front. They got a, a great defensive line. Their front seven's unbelievable. They got guys that rotate in and out. Um, and so, yeah, tons of respect for what, they, what they've been able to do and what they were doing. And, and uh, like I said, they got great players. So it starts, it starts there. How do you accelerate your recovery from Sunday to having a game on Thursday? What changed? What did you do differently? Uh, you know, you get in the pool a little bit more. I swim a bunch. Um, you know, uh, get on get on the, uh, the on the bike and just try to run and and uh, you know flush that you know flush that fluid out and, and just get ready to uh, get ready to go again. It it'll be like a Thursday game uh, practice, and usually by Wednesday I'm feeling really good. Usually, so um, I'm feeling great today and excited about the, the opportunity to play again. Plus, I know Pete said that the team didn't watch the film together from this past game. Did you? Have time in yourself where you watched it, reviewed it, and make corrections, go through that process? Yeah, we were able to watch it on, on the plane and on the bus uh, going to the plane. So watch it twice uh, and just try to study and, and figure out, um, you know, how can we, how can we get better? Um, how, I, how, first of all, I can get better. And, and uh, we, you know, we missed. We went to the free throw line and didn't make our free throws you know, that, that, that night. You know, you know, went to the plate and, and uh, you know, sometimes you, you have a few strikeouts and you maybe have a pop fly. And, and, uh, but hopefully the next night you come back out. Uh, you go four for four. So uh, that's just one of those things. We, we moved on quickly. We had to move on because, um, you know, we have a great team coming in, a great defense and getting prepared for those guys and what they do. And, and so we're excited about the, the opportunity. Um, it'll be cool, obviously, playing back at home. Um, we'll have some bright green uh, uniforms on. So that'll be, that'll be interesting and fun too as well. So it'll be a great game, a, a, great, a great battle, that's for sure. After a game where you guys struggle like that and you're watching the film, do you like watching it? alone and kind of processing it or do you like watching it on the plane or bus or whatever with with other offensive guys um you know i i, I uh i watch it um on, on the bus we always tater and i and we always sit next to each other on the bus so um coach coach carl smith my quarterback coach so we always watch it on the bus together um you know we've, we've sat next to each other for for five years now so we always uh you know sit, sit on the bus and watch it as soon as the game's over um and then we get on the plane and then i usually watch on the plane um, and then uh, sometimes we'll, we'll go over some plays with, with uh, certain guys or whatever, and just communicate and and, uh, and figure out what went what went really well on that play or what we could have done better. So um, that that process always is kind of continual, and um, you know it's just you constantly um, are critiquing and trying to learn and trying to study and and be on that constant quest for knowledge and, and, and continue to build that knowledge and and uh, can continue to move on, whether if it's good or bad. Um, you know, you, you want to continue to move on to the good stuff uh, and keep hap keep making good things happen. And then when the bad stuff happens, try to figure out how to eliminate those things. What did you learn better from the film? What did you? Well, like I said, uh, sometimes you sometimes you go and uh, the ball doesn't bounce your way for whatever reason. So you just uh, you know the ball may hit off the rim and bounce out. So you know you're just really looking forward to the next opportunity. Um, you know we had chances there, we had some plays, and and that's the great thing. It wasn't like we were uh, completely uh, stopped or anything like that. We had some great opportunities. We moved the ball really well. Guys made some great plays. We made some great plays, um, and then unfortunately we had those turnovers. And uh, you know that's not the norm for us. We want to we want to get back to playing great football and being. Um, you know, very, very efficient and scoring as much as we can. What did you see on the turnovers? What did go wrong? I, I don't need to go all the way through that. I, I just think, like I said, you know, um, for, for whatever reason, uh, they made a few more plays than us, you know. And so I, I think for us, uh, we're, we're focused on, you know, hopefully scoring a lot of touchdowns this week against a very, very good defense and, uh, and a defense that we really highly regard and, and what, they're, what they're doing. So um, that's really honestly our focus uh, right now. Did you see any uh, – Kind of comparisons between last week, though, and the game in Tampa Bay. Something that you could identify and then maybe kind of learn from there. Not necessarily. Like I said, uh, it was just a, it was just a bad day at the plate. So we just have to move on and, and, and look forward to the next opportunity, and uh, and, and that's going to be a great game uh, come Thursday night. Like I said, and, and it'll be a great battle. Russell, in, in, in your locker room, is there been any discussion? I'm sorry, Jen. About they they just lost their head coach. I mean, are players saying, "Hey, look, these guys might be in a different state of mind" or anything like that? Um. You know, we, we, we know that obviously, um, you know, they, they've lost their head coach and, and Coach Fisher. And, and, um, but at the same time, you know, they're professional football players and, and, they, and they, uh, they're a great football team in terms of the players and what they've been doing and, and how, how their defense plays and, and all that kind of stuff. So that's not really a factor for us. So we, we have to focus on us and getting prepared on a short week and, um, you know, playing Seahawk football, playing great football, being really efficient with the ball, playing great defense, playing physical, playing fast, and, and, uh, and continuing to make our plays. You weren't at 100% the last time you faced the Rams. How much different is it this time? And 
I guess how much more does does it open up for you in this matchup? Well, obviously um, that was the second game of the year, and uh, you know I had that severe ankle injury. So um, you know this time obviously I can move around a little bit more. Um, you know we had a chance. We had a chance last time we played them on a, on a tough environment down in LA. It was the first home game. You know it was a, a great game, and uh, we had a chance even at the end of the game there. Um, we hit Tyler Lockett deep down the field with not too much time left, and, and uh, we had a chance to win. And unfortunately we didn't. But um, you know, every every game's a new game. Every every situation is a new situation. And so, um, you know, this time uh, we're just getting ready to do what we can do best and 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 try to you know be on time, be physical, make our plays, and continue to um, try to win football games. This team's generally played well off a loss and kind of come back strong. How how confident in the way are you in the way this team can rebound? Well, it's the resolve, you know, and and uh, and how we continue to. I think it's also the character of men that we have, you know, in, in the locker room. Um, Guys being able to overcome situations, uh, tough situations, and and, uh, and to be able to come back and keep swinging and keep believing, and and uh, I think it's also in the preparation. You know, we prepare at such a high level, and uh, sometimes you know it, it doesn't go your way. It's not very many times for us uh, in the past, but uh, I, I think for us, we've been able to you know prepare at a high high level, and as a result, a lot, a lot of great things have happened. And, and so uh, that's what we rely on. We rely, we rely on the preparation, and that's where the separation is, and just try to take one day at a time and and. Uh, and enjoy that process and enjoy the process of preparing to win. And, um, and, and hopefully when you go out on, on, on Thursday, I was going to say Sunday, but on Thursday night, um, you, you make the great plays and we find a way to win. Does it feel any different in that regard because of the margin of the victory or is this a loss, a loss, and it's just they're all the same? Well, um, a lot of times, I guess the kind of cliche thing to say is, you know, a win is a win. I guess a loss is a loss too, you know. So at the end of, at the, end of the day, when you look back at it, um, you know, um, yeah, you, you, you never, you never want to lose. I think that's our mentality, you know. So um, we, we don't really, um, we, we don't like losing around here, and that's that's obviously, uh, you know, our thought process. But at the same time, when it, when it does happen, you have to be able to move on, just like when you win. You have to be able to move on, move on to the next week, and that's why we always preach that, you know, the idea of going one and zero and and trying to prepare to win. And and like I said, we're playing a very, very uh, tough, tough defense, and. Um, you know, uh, guys that can really, you know, star players on their on their side of the ball, and so we had tons of respect for what they're doing. So it's going to be a battle. Was there ever a time in your career when if things didn't go your way, you would allow yourself to get more frustrated than maybe you, you do now at this point in your career? Uh, no, I've never been the type to really get frustrated because I know there's an, hopefully going to be another opportunity, and uh, you just learn from the learning. You know, you learn from the learning experiences. You continue to have the resolve to to overcome situations and. Uh, and uh, you, you focus on, you know, I, I keep it pretty simple, you know, what, what went well and what can we get better at, you know, and I think that's really, those two questions are kind of the fundamental questions I always ask, um, win or lose. And, um, and so I think that keeps things really, really clear and then, uh, and just uh, keeps, keeps the truth there. It keeps you, um, keeps your perspective, um, you know, and, uh, and we, we have great guys, we have great players, we, we have the right, right, right system and, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we're, we're excited about the opportunity to play this week and that's, that's always, uh, always the case. Anytime, you know, I, I'm grateful. Anytime I get to play the game of football, um, it's the best day, you know, just because um, you love the game so much, you're passionate and you work so hard. And, um, you know, hopefully, obviously, it turns out the way you want it to. Do you have any message for the Sounders celebrating their championship today? Obviously, the Sounders are uh, pretty special. I wish, wish you could, we could celebrate with you. We have a bunch of the guys watching the game, obviously, and uh, such a special thing. Obviously, to win a you know a championship is, is a big, big deal and means a lot to Seattle. So go Sounders. Uh, Russell, after your injuries, uh, do you feel any different about handling the pressure uh, of the pass rush? Is it, is it different for you having been hurt? Uh, I, I think obviously when when I was uh, dinged up, I couldn't do as much. Couldn't really get away sometimes, um, you know. And you had to find ways to you know uh, throw the ball away, you know, and throw it in the dirt or whatever. And and, um, and then sometimes and obviously now I can extend the play and make something happen a little bit more. Um, so I think that's a, that's a good thing, obviously for us, um, you know. But I think the offensive line's doing a great job. They're battling. They continue to to, to elevate their game, and, and we're really looking forward to obviously this challenge of this week. Um, you know, you got one of the best defensive lines uh, in, in the National Football League. Uh, this week, and so we're prepared for that. We're getting ready for that. So it'll be an exciting week. Anything else? Thank, Thank you, guys. Go Hawks.